Hey everybody, this is Kelly of Kelly Sex Stories, and as you may know, the man who said he was delivered from homosexuality, Andrew Caldwell, he's saying that the boxer, Adrian Broner, is a DL brother, allegedly. He's claiming that the man had hit him up in his DM on Instagram, and that he wanted um, anal uh, gratification, that he wanted him to uh, eat his booty, as he called it, which is anal lingus, so that's what he's claiming that the boxer wanted from him and then when he declined him and he told him no I'm not going to do that because I'm basic because he's not about that life anymore he was like he got upset and then he went to IG to try to cover up his tracks and throw uh, Andrew under the bus and try to make it seem as though Andrew was the one who had approached him first for sex and that he wasn't down with that and then that basically pissed off Andrew and Andrew was like no that's not the case you're trying to make me look crazy out here you're defaming my name you're trying to make me look bad and so and then and then basically Andrew was like you know what I'm going to sue you and he also mentioned that the man had threatened to shoot him or something to that effect and then he said that he was going to go to his lawyers to deal with this matter and that also that he has receipts and that he was going to show the facts of how um, Adrian is an alleged uh, download brother that was trying to come on to him and that he was not interested. I will have those video clips right behind this commentary. Brothers, y'all was my brothers. You want me to tell you? Do I got gay tendencies or something? <laughs> <laughs> what the? F Why is this man? I thought he was delivered. Yo, this is retarded. <laughs> hey, why, why? Hey, hey, six four. Mm -hmm. Tell me the truth, six. What? I got gay tendencies or something. Hell no. Huh? Hell no. Why would that man come at me like that? Talking about hey man. Let get the out my mother box. Block your dumb ass. I never said I want to sleep with you. You came on to me. To me. You the one like your booty eating. The PSA, cause I don't know what type funny shit boy on, but look, if any fag punk ass nigga come run up on me, touch, trying to touch me on, on, on all that gay shit, I'm letting you know right now. If I ain't got my gun on me, I'm knocking you the fuck out. If I got my gun on me, I'm shooting your fucking face. <laughs> we should take it slow. Take it slow. Oh. We should take it slow. Take it slow. Whoa. 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 Take it slow. We should take it slow. Oh, no matter what they come my way, my life is filled with praise. No matter what. They come my way. My life is filled with praise. So, all right, guys. You know, I'm I'm waking up to TMZ calling me. I'm waking up to the Breakfast Club. I'm waking up um, radio stations all over the world hitting me up, inboxing me. First of all, let me just put this. This was all a bunch of scams. This was all a bunch of scams. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be done with it. I'm going to say this. This is going to be my last time talking about it. First off, he's been in my inbox. We've been, we've been in each other inboxes for four months. Four months. As brother to brother. He inboxed me the other day. <clears throat> was like, hey, I'm ready. You ready? Um, come to L.A. Um... <clears throat> 
Here's my number. Can you uh, reach out? Can you reach out to my um, staff? Or I can have them to call you right now. We can get your plane ticket together. I was like, oh, okay. He was like, man, uh, you attracted. I love you. Um, you a good person. All that type of stuff. That was the other day. All before four months, we've been talking about man-to-man -man stuff, brother-to-brother -brother stuff, for real. I learned my lesson from Cordell Stewart from a long time ago to not to blast other celebrities and not to blast people who you actually been with. I'm not the type of person to blast no one. Who, who does that? I live in the public eye. So there is no, I mean, and why do I need to blast everywhere I go? People taking pictures and sneaking stuff. So what I need to lie about sleeping with anybody? I never said I slept with him. I never said I was in his inbox. He did that. He posted that. He put that. So to the Breakfast Club, to TMZ, I got some for you. You'll be hearing from me soon. But to the Breakfast Club, you better keep my mouth out. You better keep my, you better keep my name you better keep my name out your radio station. And you better keep my name. You better keep my name. You you, uh, you better keep my name out of um out of your mouths because you don't know nothing. I'm the only one that has receipts, and he has receipts. I was blindsided. I was blindsided. I did not know he was going to post this on. I did not know he was going to post um, and say, Andrew Caldwell, stay on my DM. For one, I've been noticed that something wasn't right because he's a boxer. They got millions of followers that have been on TV. He's friends with May Fullweather, all them type of people, the bird man. So I knew something was not something was not right. In my guts, I was playing along with it. In my guts, I didn't want him. When I truly tell y'all that I'm delivered, that's what y'all need to understand. If you don't believe it, why follow me? Why come on my page? Because all you want is likes for your comments. That's all you go get is a couple likes on your comments. Your comments mean nothing to me. Now, to the TMZ, you a bunch of lies. My publicists, my lawyers call his publicists. First of all, he has no hate towards me. Is I'm going to sue him, that's pending. Would I sue him, that's pending. But he never said that. He never said that. He never said he was going to kill me. He never said he was going to shoot me. He never said that. We watched this video a couple times. My publicists, my lawyers watched it. They put it all on the speaker. He never said he was going to do that towards me at all. Today, I am taking defamation. I'm going to take defamation of character, and I am going after the Breakfast Club as of today. Um, I'm about to get in the shower because I am about to get ready to meet my lawyers. They want to meet because, first of all, I'm sitting over here. Learn, I've already learned my lesson, right? I never said anything bad at all in this inbox. He started and said, hey, Mr. Delivered. That was the first thing. I should never respond was like, hey, what's up, man? That was all. I was like, oh, my God, that's you, the boxer, Adrian. So Adriana needs some attention. So go with his page, y'all, and go get, him some, go get him some attention because that's what he wants. He wants some attention. First of all, my lawyers reached out to his lawyers. Yes, they did because I was ready for this. My lawyers reached out to his lawyers. His lawyers are saying it's no hate. Tell Andrew Caldwell to enjoy it. What I look like enjoying this and it make me look like I'm going around telling people I'm sleeping with celebrities. No. 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 Ain't no enjoy this. See, y'all coming on my page trying to judge me, but y'all don't know the full story. It's two sides. So this is what I want you to do. Get his side. Get my side. He Have him to, have him to post his receipts and I will post my receipts. My receipt's going to show that he's trying to sleep with me. His receipt's going to show, you, what's up, man? How you doing? All that type of stuff. You ain't going to see none of that because I learned my lesson. So something is not right. Y'all coming to my page trying to judge me, telling me I'm a liar, but you don't have two sides to a story. We both going live. We both doing videos. And Shave Room is putting it on their page, and they edit it. And now TMZ got it. You, you, you guys get what I'm saying? I don't like this. And then let me just say this, too. 
because I'm getting plenty of inbox messages. I'm getting plenty of time out. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to hurt you. Uh, I'm going to come to St. Louis. I'm going to get you. I'm getting plenty of inbox messages from people, not him, but from people across the world. Talking about, I'm a fan of him. I swear to God. First off, I'm never alone. And trust and believe, we have beefed up on security. I'm going to warn you. I'm going to warn you. So you thinking about coming to my house, be prepared to be living in St. Louis and be, prefer be prepared to be flying out of St. Louis if you're not from here. If you are not from here and you're thinking about coming to St. Louis with some mess, be prepared to be on that plane shipped back to your family. And hopefully they got a good insurance on you. Hopefully they have good insurance to fly you back or you're going to be here buried. That's no, that, and that's the truth. Think about coming to St. Louis doing something to me or my family. Believe something's going to happen. And I'm not talking about Adrian. I'm talking about his fans. Adrian never threatened me. He threatened y'all. If you go back and listen to the video, he didn't threaten me. He threatened y'all. Keep my name out of this. I have nothing to do with this. Nothing. I didn't allow him. I ain't say nothing. This, he blindsided me. He blindsided me. He blind, and did we FaceTime? Yes. It was like, hey, what's up, man? I said, well, if this is real, FaceTime me. That's all. So you're going to see that too. If he decide to post the receipts, you're going to see that too. I said, I'm not eating out your booty. And soon I said that, that's when, boom, 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 boom. That's what happened. I told him that. I told him, I'm not eating your booty. This was exactly what I said. And then soon I said no. That's when the blogs. I was like, man, this was a setup. I mean, because you know y'all go tag me anything. Anytime somebody say my name or anything, y'all, y'all really tag me and let me know. So then after that, I inboxed him. I said, why would you do something like that? He was like, you want fame? I got you. And then he blocked me. Let's be real. Y'all going to see all of that, y'all. If he decide to post the receipts until he posts the receipts, I will post my receipt. Everybody's saying, well, Andrew Caldwell, you don't have no receipts. Who said I don't? I'm over here in peace. I am happy. I enjoy this, but not off people lives. This is danger. You, I put, I'm putting, he putting my life. Now, this time I ain't do it. I ain't, this time I ain't do it. So I'm over here in peace. I'm over here feeling good about myself. I'm not liking this, but I feel peace this time. I feel that this time I did not lie. This time I don't need fame. I was just at the BT event. I got plenty of events coming up in April, May, June, and July. Plenty of money coming up. So why would I want to gain fame off another boxer? Tell who want a boxer? He ain't finna box me into another box. My he go he he honey he think I'm May Floorweather. Okay, my name is not May Floorweather. My name is Andrew Caldwell. So get your dreams together. He came for he came in my inbox. I'm gonna say this. He came in my inbox. I ain't gonna say all the stuff he said. I ain't gonna all the stuff he wanted to do. I ain't gonna post his phone number. We're gonna have to blur that out. I, and I'm gonna be honest. I enjoy I enjoyed this because first off, you lied on me. I'm gonna sit and enjoy it because there is no need. Now, when you start defamation of character and when you start doing things, that's when we're gonna have to sit down and eat Chick-fil-A or McDonald's in the courtroom. I will bring you lunch. So, as I gotta say, fake news, fake news, fake news. Fake news, fake news, fake news. That's all. This is all a bunch of fake news. Fake news. He wanted it. Because, like I said again, I said, man, why would you do that? He was like, you want to be famous? I'm going to get you famous. Boom, blocked. That's all. That is all, y'all. Can you? I mean, I'm not going to sit here and cry. I'm not going to sit here and worry because I feel this time I did not lie. This time, Andrew is telling the truth. He wanted me to eat his booty, and I said no. So he blocked me after all four months, and then he started talking nasty. I'm like, something ain't right. Something ain't right. That's all. And I got his phone number and everything. Have I called him and texted him? No. There is no need to. Well, uh, when are you releasing those receipts? Tell him to release. Tell him to release his receipts. I will release mine. What I need to release receipts for? Y'all talking about Andrew lie? I'm sitting here. Don't try some of y'all. Or y'all that dumb? Y'all don't have discernment to tell people who tell the truth? Can you look at my face? I know my face ain't looking good right now, but can y'all look at my face? I'm peace. I'm feeling good over here. Hopefully I get a hopefully I get a TV deal after this. 
all these lies. This time, this time, I'm going to say this, this time I am not lying. I never was, I never trying to sleep with him and I never blast him. He came in my inbox and messed with me. Everybody's calling me. Stop calling me, please. Can I, I, out of respect, please stop calling me family. Please do not call me. Do not text me. This is a lot going on. For real, y'all. Don't call me, y'all. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't come on my house. Don't do none of that because I'm not going to answer you. All y'all want, y'all ain't trying to comfort nobody. Y'all ain't, I don't need no comfort because I ain't lied this time. I don't need to sit back and cry and sit on the couch with some tissue because I ain't lied this time. Don't call me and text me. Let me breathe, please. I got lots going on today. Come on, y'all. Don't do that. Stop it. All right. So, all I got to say, I'm feeling good. I like the, I, I actually do like attention, but when you put people's lives in danger, that's not funny. I, I mean, I feel bad. Y'all don't think I learned my lesson from Cordell? I learned my lesson from Cordell to, to not put people's business out there. So I guess he was trying to act like a court. This is, if y'all actually look, if, um, if y'all kind of, if y'all kind of, if y'all go back to all my videos, I'm saying the same thing. This man, this man came in my inbox. This man called me. This man did all of this, y'all. And I'm for real. Church people, stop. <sighs> This is not funny, y'all. This is not funny. I never blast nobody. He was in my inbox. I respond back man to man. <laughs> so, stay out my inbox. TMZ, leave me alone. The breakfast cup, leave me alone. <laughs>